Now we'll see Ned Yost's offense. First pitch of the game, and it will be to Alex Gordon. Weaver couldn't find the strike zone that time. You're playing with fire right there. Hanging the breaking ball up in the zone. That's the way you can get hurt. Here it comes. And Gordon with a swing and a miss. That is a strike. The count evened up. Lifetime numbers, 313 off the Angel. One and oh, two. he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. The one-two pitch. Two and Good two. patience. Alex Gordon letting that one go by. It evens the count. Well, like a lot of hitters with two strikes, he's been very susceptible to the breaking ball. Let's see if he gets it. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him out, went away. Well, two strikes on the hitter, and he came inside. He just couldn't catch up quickly enough to it. He must have been thinking away. And Dyson's going to stand in. Jared Weaver continued his run of one of the best in the game. Hit in the air to center field. And Dyson set down. Two away. Well, Jared Weaver may be most impressive the way this whole thing started in his year when all six of his first starts, 6-0 and by the end of April. I mean, what a dominating performance from him and a guy oh. right there in the Cy Young race in the American League. 18-8 and record, a career-best ERA at 2.41, a league-best whip as well. Nobody gets on base against this guy, and he doesn't hurt himself. And Eric Hosmer with a swing and a miss for a strike that'll even it up. 25 career at bat, six hits off the Angels. Ball two. And that's the ball. Weaver too far outside. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ooh, he paints the corner with that one. 2 and 2 now. Line towards third and foul. This one's bounced up the middle. Picked up by Pujols. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Soft. Bruce Chen's going to be pitching for Kansas City. He'll be starting. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's caught by Francois. That's one away. This ball was well hit. The ball looked like it was going to carry deeper. The right fielder had just enough time to slide over and put it away. And it's Kendrick batting. Well, last season, the Angels were a solid ball club here at the Big A. Didn't translate into a playoff appearance, but they definitely were comfortable at home. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Regarding that home record, Steve, is actually the best of any non-playoff team in the American League. And, and really the key there was pitching. A team ERA just over three in 2011. They didn't make the playoff, but it wasn't because of the pitching. Ball this two. is high with that one for ball two. The pitch. This is popped down the right field line. Should be room. And it's caught by Francois. Now it's two away. Now we'll take a look at the Angels' offense. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, Eric Ibar is a rarity. He's a free swinger for a guy that doesn't have much power. Most power guys who are free swingers, they can hit the ball out of the ballpark. That's not Eric Ibar's game. He's going to hit for a high average, not going to walk a lot. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes, though, and he's a great defender, so you can live with the fact that he's a free swinger. Line drive. And that gets down for the Angels. That'll be their first base hit. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, they set down the first two men of this inning, but they couldn't get him out. A big double right there with two outs, and a two-out hit will score a run. That is uh, Kendry Morales at the plate. Throws on to first side is retired. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Butler's in the box. He's going to get us started. Second inning. 
And a strike starting the second here. It's on one. Well, boy, wouldn't you have loved to seen him connect with that one to see how far that would go. Fastball hitter on fastball pitcher, but he came up empty. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. And the throw beats that runner. He is out at first. Now, Gary was really going for it there, but the catcher's able to get a handle on it. Give it over to first base in time. If he doesn't get it there, who knows what it might lead to. Outstanding hustle to make sure he doesn't get on on a third strike. We've got Moustakas and pops him up. And Ibar's there. That retires Moustakas. Two away. Kind of, uh, well, not funny, certainly if you're with the Royals, but Alex Rodriguez in New York uh, nearly made the entire Royals payroll. Well, you know, the story in Kansas City has to be we have great young players, we're going to develop, and we've got payroll flexibility to add veterans when we're ready. 0-1, oh Weaver kicks, deals. And that's a strike. Frank Gore is going to have to take that defensive stance at the plate. Boy, that's a tough pitch to deal with right there. You might be looking for a fastball. You get the breaker down and away. Ball. That one fouled off by Francoeur. One and, two. and Weaver misses low that time. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Fouled off. Foul ball. You're he out. cannot connect. Frank Floor up empty and gone. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. So the shutout still. And so Torrey Hunter leading it off. Starts him off with a pitch on the outside corner. Strike one. one, and, one. and Torrey Hunter watches that one go by. Evens it up. Missed with the fastball outside. Two and one. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball. Gets. That's one down. One away. Here's Vernon Wells. Well, a change of scenery was not what the doctor had ordered for Vernon Wells. Changed into an Angels hat and had a dismal year. Line shot into center field. Oh, Dyson has made a great play. An acrobatic diving catch denies an extra base hit. Well, he got a great jump on that, and he took exactly the angle necessary to make the play. Trumbo is ready to go. He stands in. Foul ball! He fouls that one off. The pitch. Strike That's two. a strike, and it's 0-2 for Mark Trumbo. Time to protect. Well, you got to like that pitch, that cut fastball up and away from the hitter. Awfully tough to hit it with that kind of movement. Dyson will put it away to retire the side. And Bruce Jen gets him one, two, three. He emerges from the first two innings on skate. Gets at the plate. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Oh. Inside for a ball, evens the count at one. Strike. He's wishing he laid off that one. A strike on a pitch in the dirt. Here's the pitch. A bouncing ball to shortstop. And Kendrick in position. In time for the up. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. 
And we're going to see Quintero batting. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now. He's dominating. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. Fastball got him two down. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. He just looked a little uh, silly on that one, John. He was just flailing away. Well, that's the toughest pitch to hit, that pitch up and in. If you miss it, you look very foolish. And Escobar settles in. Ground ball headed for the middle. And Kendrick in position. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Chris Iannetta at the plate. And this is bounced foul to the left side. The pitch. And he leaves that one alone. Iannetta shows patience. That'll even up the count. Ooh, he pulls the string with a circle change. One and two. Well, if he threw a fastball right there, he might send a souvenir to the crowd. Problem was, he got the chase. Swing and a hot shot. It's going to bring Peter Burgos to the plate. And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. It just didn't get far enough away or up high. No, it just it was still caught a little too much of the plate, and the batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. Circle change, cut out and missed 0-1. Gary, he gets a little over anxious at the plate when the count goes to 0 and 1. So look for them maybe to expand the strike zone and get him to chase something. Gets away from him. No break on that whatsoever. And 81 miles per hour getting into a pretty good hitting speed right there. It's batting practice. Great job of mixing speeds. Change up there. Well, it looked like he almost popped his elbow out of place trying to swing at that pitch. Boy, was his timing thrown for a loop. It's Ibar at the plate. Over his career, a 359 off the Royals. And it's just amazing how he can have this team's number year in and year out. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Tried to get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. He deals. Catcher can't control it. Well, check out the movement on this on K-Cam. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. And it's Kendrick batting. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. Really lets it rip on that one, but starts off with a strike. He watches one miss low and outside, one and one. For some reason on the 1-1 count, he really likes to be aggressive. I'd have to try to work off the corners a little bit and see if I can't get it off the center of his back. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Alex Gordon leading it off. Weaver is flat out dominating this lineup today. How's he delivering on these first pitches? Let's look and see. Well, when he's throwing that first pitch strike, it leads to effectiveness. He's gotten five guys out after throwing a first pitch strike. And Gordon with a swing and a miss. That is a strike. The count evened up. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now? Strike two. Baffled him with a curveball, one and two. Well, the pitcher knows he got away with one right there. That breaking ball up in the strike zone, a very, very hittable pitch. He got lucky to get the hitter to swing through it. You're up. Swing and a miss, strike three, Gordon out. Got him to chase that ball down and away. Good pitch, not real good execution by the hitter. And Dyson's going to stand in. Here we go, here's the first pitch. Oh, and, one. and a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery, 0-1. Oh, 
Let's take a look at how this pitcher has been utilizing his arsenal of pitches. I think he's throwing that 12-6 curveball just a little bit too much. I think he needs to mix things up a little bit more to make that pitch more effective. If few people can throw a circle change better than him, I'm sitting here wondering why is he not using it more and struggling with his other pitches. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively, two consecutive punch-outs. So with two down, it'll be Eric Hosmer. 0 for 1 thus far. And he tries to lay off, does, but it's a called strike, nothing in one. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground. That ends up foul. The pitch. Line drive fouled Double. off towards first. There's a swing, a high bouncer towards the hole. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And Albert Pujolsa. You know, guys, watching Chen pitch today, what a treat it has been. Ball. Let's take a look here and see what his approach is against these hitters on the first pitch. Well, uh, what does an 0-1 count do for you? Well, the, in this game, it does a lot. He's gotten seven hitters out wow. in this game when he's gone 0-1 in the count. So first pitch strikes me a lot. A high pop-up. Escobar to field it. That's one away. Got him off balance. Got him out front a little bit. Easy pop out to the shortstop. Kendry Morales at the plate now. Well, last season was a season that never was for Kendry Morales. Really never showed up after breaking. Up the middle. Gets. Out number two. And it's Torrey Hunter in the box now. Here's the first pitch. This one popped towards the outfield. That'll be in shallow center. And that one's put away to retire the side. And they're held in. And Butler's in the box. Now so much has been working for this man on the mound today. Effective using the pitches. That one swung on its line. Out throws in time to first. What a play. A tremendous diving stop here, and what a throw. Well, look how he makes the catch on this thing and shifts his body to get in throwing position from his knees. We've got Moustakis in the box. He popped out his last time. Ball. And that's a ball. Weaver too far outside. The Gears, we move to the middle part of this ball game right now. They just cannot mount any offense at all. No hits. And I'll tell you what, this pitcher is just shutting them down. Swing and a miss by Moustakis. Strike one. Well, Gary, the circle change is really his bread and butter pitch. And that change of velocity where he'll throw the fastball at one speed and really take something off with the oh. circle change. You know, Gary, you know, talking about hit this guy's circle change, I mean, one of the, the reasons why it's so good is that his arm speed is the same, whether he throws a fastball or this changeup. And it's the grip that really changes the speed. And Weaver misses low that time. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations, using that to his advantage. I really like what we've seen from him. Move ball up and down, in and out, changing the eye level of the hitters. And you got to do that. I mean, you think about his strategy and his success today is a testament to how important it is to mix up your location. Your fastball got him two down. Still, no one has been able to reach base, and we're in the fifth. You know, I love watching them this next time through the lineup. The adjustments he's making, the hitters just can't figure them out. And it's Jeff Francoeur now. He's 0 for 2, lifetime against Jared Weaver. Ball. Taken inside by Francoeur for a ball. Here's the 1 0. That one swung on and missed. Frank Gore, that's going to even the count. 
Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Weaver sets, throws. Foul! Francoeur again fouling it off. Well, even though he got ahead in the count here, one and two very quickly, you know he's in for a battle because this guy will shorten up just to put it in play. The pitcher has to be at the top of his game, Foul! even when he's ahead in the count, to get this guy out. The one-two from Weaver. Jeff Francoeur looks at that one. It's a call, third strike. Well, you don't want to say anything too early, but through five, folks, there ain't anything up there. And you know what? Second. Leading it off is Vernon Wells. And a look now at the pitch type distribution. One of the hallmarks. Swing and a line at a right center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. He stops at second. That will be a double. He's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this, and good hustle also. He bunts the ball. Quintero. Oh, boy, here we go. They got the rundown going. Over to second for one. That's a good snap decision right there. Making the play on the bunt and getting the lead runner out at second base. Nice job. And Iannette is batting. He singled in his last at bat. Whoa, that misses badly. 1 0. So far in this one, one for one off Chen. You know, guys, if I'm going up. To Hit in the air to left center. This one to Gordon. Two down. Well, this ball was headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. And Borges is going to come to the plate. Struck out swinging last time. And he swings and hits this one foul. Good eye by Peter Borges. Lays off that one. We've got an even count now. We have seen a great pitching performance on the mound. And a tremendous swung on line to right field. That one gets through for a base hit. This a great situation for some offense. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. It's Ibar at the plate. Steady numbers, three for six lifetime against Chen. Well, Bruce Chen will head to the dugout. Gets at the plate. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. And starts him out here. There's a strike. Weaver got him looking. Now, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But Don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any hits here. We're, you know, moving through the middle part of the strike ball game. Two. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Now, a moment here to look at the quality strikes this pitcher's been throwing here today. Boy, he has thrown a ton of them. Quality pitches, quality strikes. That's the kind of performance we're seeing. Yeah, and I've been impressed with how he's used the inner and outer parts of the strike zone. Very effective in getting a lot of strikes on these hitters. You know, it's been difficult for the hitters to center him because he hasn't thrown the ball over the middle portion of the plate, keeping it on the corners. Slider tough to lay off, and it's 2-2. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a ball lined softly towards second. And it's caught by Kendrick. Boy, it doesn't take long to count the amount of hitters he's been able to get out so far. He's just marching along here with lots of zeros. Well, the key right now, he's got to maintain his focus. Winning the game is the primary goal right now. Now we're going to see Quintero batting. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. He struck out swinging in his first at bat of the game against Weaver. Well, he just blew that four-seam fastball by him the last time up. You've got to think he's going to try to go there again, elevating his eyes. Well, he's been working that pitch with a lot of success getting Ks. In fact, three other batters have also been set down with it. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. 
On this one-two count, the batter has to protect the plate. The numbers indicate he's willing to chase if you throw it out of the zone. Swung on, hit. And Ibar picks it up. Out. In time for the out. I'll tell you something, Steve. He keeps pitching like this. The murmurs are going to start. Well, you can hear the chatter of the stands right now. People starting to recognize a lot of zeros up on that scoreboard. And Escobar settles in. 0 for 1 thus far. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. You know, his trends show that in 0-1 count, he tends to like to come back with a fastball. Strike that two. second pitch cuts on a fastball, misses, and it's 0-2. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. There's a swing, a high pop-up behind second. And Ibar's there. And that's out number three. Oh, Jerry, he's putting on an absolutely unbelievable... And it's Kendrick batting. Well, it's uh, keeping up with the hit trends in this one. Let's take a look at the... Pick. He swings now and really hit that. Dyson will make that catch. And it's Albert Pujols now with one away. Well, with Pujols hitting the free agent market in the offseason, you just didn't know whether or not he would come back to St. Louis. The whole city was on edge. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. Well, they followed the advanced scout reports to a tee. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. Time for Kendry Morales now to bring his bat to the plate. This is placed perfectly for a base hit. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. Well, the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two-out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. Popped up his last oh. at bat. Cutter just misses. 1-0. and oh. Tried to backdoor that cut fastball. Just trying to catch the outside corner. Couldn't quite get it. Oh, this one is hit deep by Hunter. It is long gone. Goodbye. The Angels have the long ball. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Anaheim knew what they needed to do in this inning, and they got it done. They've delivered in clutch situations. They're out in front. He deals. There's a swing. Line drive, center field. And that'll put him on another hit. And here's Mark Trumbo standing in. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way, he went after that in the box, Steven. Swung on line to right center field. This one into the alleyway. Should be extra bases. And here's Wells going to try to score. And he scores from first. Little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. Anaheim there continuing. The bats are hot. RBI opportunity. Chris Iannetta. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, now they're putting some distance between themselves and their opponent with it. There's a swing and a smash. Dyson's there. That's caught. Side is retired. And so they get huge production here. Three big runs across. Now it's time to protect the lead. And it's Alex Gordon now. He struck out swinging in that last at bat against Weaver. On that walk back to the dugout the last time after a strikeout on that 12. That one swung on, hit in the air. And it's going to be Hunter. Roams over, puts it away. Now, Gary, he looks like he's in complete control, but all it takes is one big at bat, and if you get a big base hit, next thing you know, things can start to snowball, so he's got to keep his focus out there. And Dyson's going to stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but uh, when I look up the board under that H column, the hits column, I see a big goose egg there, so clearly we're getting into exciting territory oh. right now. And it goes foul. Now Ionetta spots the pitch. Struck him out, and on it goes. Every batter's gone back to the bench. Now he's just baffled them the entire game, shaking their heads on the way back to the dugout. And Hosmer's in the box. Grounded out his last time through. A line drive towards the hole. 
Ooh, that one hit off the heel of his glove. Well, yeah. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Borges oh. is going to come to the plate. He's going to get things going here. Home half, seventh inning. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Dyson's there. As he gets to it for the out. The center fielder has a good angle to run this one down. He calls off the left fielder. Great catch. So with one away, it'll be Eric Ibar. He'll be seeking his first hit right here. There is a swing and a liner. And Escobar able to get to that one. That's two gone. And it's Kendrick batting. How's he attacking on the first delivery? Let's look here. You know, working ahead in the count. How important it is. Hit in the dirt. Gets. Throws to first side is retired. No strikeout. And it's Billy Butler to lead it off. Ground out victim last time through. And he starts him out. You got the bat on that. Borges is there. The catch. And he puts it away. Out number one. I love the way he's gaining confidence with every batter. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Third time through the lineup now. He's changing his approach going after these hitters. We've got Moustakas now bouncing ball to short. And Ibar picks it up. Out. Two men have been put away. Uh, Gary, I tell you what, that's some solid pitching out there right now. He's got everything working for him. He looks like he's in complete and total control right now. They are off balance the entire game. Jeff Francoeur in the box. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. And it's a one. Weaver gets him looking. No runs, no hits. Deep, deep into this ball game, Gary. And obviously he is pitching a gem of a game. And that's a strike. Francois is going to have to take that defensive stance at the plate. Here's the pitch. You're Got out. him, and the side is retired. He's going to go back to the dugout. He is three outs away from a perfect game. And watch here when he gets... One, two, three inning for Jared Weaver. Well, this is just an awesome show. He's pitching flawlessly now through eight innings. Now, Angels, home half of the eighth inning. And Albert Pujols up. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. There's a swing and a ground ball. Hosmer in position. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. That's a good heads-up play. Well, you know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. Now batting one away. Here's Kendra Morales. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Bounces up against the wall. Well, this pitch right here catches way too much of the plate, and he absolutely demolishes it. Let's see what they want to do here with one out and a base open. Now, Torrey Hunter. Anaheim with a great opportunity here. First pitch, curveball. Swung out and missed on one. A productive at-bat swinging today. Last time, two-run shot off Chen. I've right seen the off-speed pitch once already. Seemed to pick it up early. If he goes back to it in this at-bat, I would think he's got to make sure that it's down and away in a zone where he can't drive it. Lined foul towards third. Barry Hunter is swinging a miss, and that's strike three. k Cam's going to give us a good look at the cutter. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. Now, here's wow. Vernon Wells. A bit of a break here right now, Gary. The fact that there are runners on base, but this guy tends to struggle a little bit at the plate. Here's Wells with another foul ball. Here's the delivery. You're and out. Vernon Wells right through on that cut, strike three. Be a good inning from Bruce Chen. Limited the offense to just three over eight work, but they... Gets at the plate. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. 0-1. Oh now, Gary, in the ninth inning, has not given up a hit in this one, so we may be looking at some history for him personally and for his club. 1-0 is a curve and a called strike. 
He likes to try to make contact 0-2 and not get struck out, so that means you can't throw anything too close to the plate right here. Here's the pitch. Line drive left of the bag wow. and foul. Gets him on strikes. There's one here in the ninth inning. Hey, there's one thing to get a perfect game. It's another one to just keep mounting the strikeouts. We've got a second now to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. And we're going to see Quintero batting. Grounded out his last time through. And here's the first one. Line towards third and foul. Oh. Oh and one. Weaver kicks, deals. One and oh, one. and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One and one. But Gary, the numbers seem to indicate he likes to go fastball on a one-one count, trying to get back ahead again. Hit well to the left side. Trumbo's able to put that one away. And Escobar settles in. He popped out his last time. The first pitch. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. Here's the 2 1. He makes contact. Line drive. He's out, and there it is. He did it. A perfect game. One of the hardest feats to accomplish in baseball or in sports in general. An unbelievable effort. Perfect stuff on a perfect day. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win in the shoulders of their pitchers. Come to that point where we take a look back and say, who made a difference? Here's our player of the game. Terrific mound work today, Jared Weaver. Well, you know, they don't call it a perfect game for nothing. This is something that this young man will remember for the rest of his life. And everyone who's here has to have a feeling that they just witnessed some sort of history. And I know never playing in one in my career, a perfect game, I'm thankful I got to see this one. And we witnessed a pitcher who has put himself in the record book, an incredible perfect game. I mean, you see history made here with this kind of performance from this guy, an outstanding effort, and they get the win as a team as well to move forward. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.